So I wanted to make a video about what is easily the best recovery tool I've encountered so far in my years of uh, self-development. Uh, it's called Cold Turkey Blocker, and it's uh, a program that you can use uh, on Windows and Mac OS uh, to block websites uh, and other distractions at will. So not only websites, but also programs, apps, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I think this program is really awesome because... Um, it, once you really block out all the distractions and all the all the all the ways you can procrastinate, it becomes so much easier to actually do the work that you want to do. And uh, of course, it makes life a lot easier, not just if you're working or studying, but especially if you have things you do with self development. For example, an example uh, I like to give with self development is learning how to code, which is very interesting um, for people. Who, um, well, guys, uh, that's what I usually talk about, um, who, who are looking for a certain perspective in life, like what do I want to do professionally? And But even like the, the more typical example maybe in self-development is being an entrepreneur. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, you cannot just spend uh, your whole day looking at uh, social media or, or checking out the latest uh, soccer news or looking at the war in Ukraine or whatever. So you have to create... Unless, of course, you don't have this problem and you don't check out those websites, but you have to realize that like, our internet life is to a very large descent, uh, extent designed to distract you. So it's not entirely your fault if you have a hard time trying to concentrate uh, on your tasks because there's just nowadays in, in our modern age, there's just so many distractions everywhere. Um, and a lot of guys uh, suffer from, for example, when they're studying, like I was when I didn't know about any of these tools, I would always struggle, like I would go to the library, like many people do, just to be able to do some studying there. And then I also had to like uh, make sure I I, uh, uh, I turned off my phone and everything. Um, but this, uh, yeah, so this tool, I'm going to create a series of videos to show you how this tool actually works. But for this introduction video, I just wanted to discuss how important it is to um, create a barrier between yourself and uh, everything that distracts you. Um, after a few years of using this, I, I do ask myself, like, should we need a program to block us from accessing what we want by force? So you cannot just disable it. Should we need that to enable to be productive? Well, of course, ideally, we wouldn't. Um, but the, the reality is that most people, because the distractions are so great, that most people really struggle um, trying to 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 alter their behavior. And um, at least for a start, it's a, or, or, or like if you're a beginner with this, if you're if you want to improve your life and you're you, you're thinking about how can I do this, you you should look at all the ways you can uh, you can you can make it easier for yourself. Um, so I've been using this program for, uh, I think, about four years now. And uh, it's been fantastic because I can just block everything I want uh, uh, and the way I want. And uh, I also like can block my whole computer if I don't want to uh, have access to my computer. So there's different, many different options. And uh, yes, I will spend some videos talking about this and also about some of the features and maybe also some of the risks you might encounter um, that make you uh, that make this program not effective because ultimately it's like the same with porn blocking so you can block a website and you can make it very difficult for yourself to evade it but ultimately there will always be a way even if you have to spend hours and hours there will always be a way to fool yourself so but what you want to try to create here is an environment, like a, a work environment for yourself um, that you cannot easily just disable because, uh, you know, I also, there there was a, um, there was a browser extension in the past um, that you could use to block websites, but all you had to do is to, to evade this block is to disable the extension. So it didn't make any sense, but then ultimately I found uh, better tools and, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to talk about uh, in my video series. Um, one last thing I wanted to say is that um, this program, unfortunately, I think it existed for a while on Android, but this developer does not make um, uh, versions for, for mobiles. So we have to find a different solution for that. I have different solutions for that, but we also uh, address this in another, in another video. 
Uh, last thing I wanted to say is I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm just really enthusiastic about this tool. Uh, and also one of its, like maybe it's a bit of a strange thing to say, but one of the benefits is you don't have to pay monthly for it. You can use it for free. If you want to use the full version, version you buy like a, a one-time uh, a, a software a, a key like you used in the past with like pretty much all programs and now everything's a subscription. But this uh, program, developer is actually proud of not offering a description. So um, this may sound like an advert, but uh, I'm not getting any any money for this. So um, I just want people to uh, know what options there are. Uh, especially, for example, I I I I just I just remember from my student days that people were struggling so much with concentrating and being effective, and that they had to lock themselves up in the library. Well, you can now do that in your own room um and uh yes uh, i'm going to explain you how